Good morning, good morning. How are you? This is Trina Edwards, and I am the Restoration Coach, where I am helping single moms to restore hope and to overcome adversity through culinary experiences. And today we are preparing our, our Sunday dinner before we go to church. All right, does anyone else still do that? Today we're going to put together a creation. I don't have a, any particular recipe, but I'm going to put it together. Um, some of the things you're going to need, basically it's, it's a turkey knuckle. Yes, I said turkey knuckle. Turkey knuckle stew, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, I have like a pound of turkey knuckles here that I've got from the meat part, meat department. Um, some onion powder, pepper, salt, I need some accent, garlic powder, I have some nonstick spray for my crock pot, you're going to need a crock pot, yes, and then I'm going to use some of this, um, some broth base for the seasoning, now, I'm not going to use a lot, because I'm trying to regulate the salt, so let's see how that works. Anyway, then what I have done is I have already chopped up some onions. You don't have to have them real small because this is going to be in the crock pot. A few potatoes just in case. Um, some celery. I have some carrots in the refrigerator. And that's about it. So we're going to use those as well. But at first of all, you want to make sure that you rinse off your turkey knuckles. And then I'm going to spray my pan, spray the bowl of my crock pot. I'll rinse that out. Now, you know I'm all about easy cleanup, so that's why I'm using this nonstick spray, just in case. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is I want to put, put these turkey knuckles in there. Let me show you one before I get started. This is a nice meaty one. You can see it there. Uh, okay. It's just a pound. I just want a little bit. I'm not going to make a whole bunch. Okay, put those in there. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to start adding my seasoning. I think I want to start with this here. You see, it's a little crumbly. It's not pasty. I have another one that's kind of pasty. But if you get the dry one, you can use it as a dry rub. Now this one, this is, I got from Walmart. This is the powder base. And this one is a pasty version, which I got from Sam's Club. And this is the beef, beef version. This is beef. And the other one is chicken. So what I want to do is I want to use the uh, beef one here today in my recipe. And let's see how that goes, okay? Let's fix this light. Make sure it comes back on. It has a mind of its own. Okay, there you go. So what I want to do is just got to put a little bit in here because this is very salty. You have to be careful with this. And I'm just going to put that in there. And let me bring this camera up so that you can see exactly what's going on. Or better yet, I'll bring this up closer. Let me pull this out. Oh. So you can see. So you see the seasonings in there. So now I want to put some salt, little pepper. You can see. Let's see. This bowl is hot because I have it already turned on. So let me let that go. Um, onion powder. Let's see what else. Accent. We got some accent here. Accent helps to enhance the flavor. All right. Let's go with 
some of the garlic powder. Let me move this camera down so you can see what I'm doing. There you go. Garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic, so we're gonna work it like that. Now, I think I put all my seasonings in there. I'm gonna stir it up. Stir it up. And make sure all the seasonings on every one of them. And just in case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I think I wanna try some, hmm, garlic salt. Just a tad bit. Because I'm gonna be adding water to this. I normally will add chicken broth, but I want to I want to regulate the salt myself in this time and let's throw some herbs in there let's throw oh, some Mrs. Dash in there okay one step works so now what I am going to do is I'm gonna stir this up one more time just stirring it up stirring it up now I'm just going to dump all my vegetables in there. You want to make sure you layer your seasonings. So what I'm going to do here is one for all. I'm going to do a one for all. I'm going to use the garlic salt. That way I got salt and garlic. Put some of this on the vegetables. And I think this is going to be highly seasoned after that you want to layer you want to layer your food with seasonings okay so oh it's smelling good it's looking good so far so if you can see that really well might as well throw some more garlic in here seeing how it's in the way <laughs> so you see that there now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to use this bowl. Actually, I have some. No, I think I want to start with cold water today. Okay. I'm going to get some cold water and I'm going to put it in here. Now the thing with crock pots, you don't want to drown your food with water. Just enough. That's what most people make the mistake of when they use crock pots. They drown their food with water. They put too much water in it. Okay? Now, if you can see that, to me, it's colorful, but it doesn't have enough color in it for me. So what I want to do is look up here. Oh, wow. I'm going to put some paprika I need some more color this is some smoke oh Spanish paprika today Spanish paprika if you can see that um, or else you can use some smoked paprika where I have to locate that but anyway that's the gist of what I'm doing now I'm gonna stir that up it's looking really colorful. Now what's going to happen is this water and the juices from the meat is going to make me a gravy. Ah, that's hot. It's going to make me a gravy. And then depending on how thick the, the, uh, the broth is, the gravy is, I will come back and add a, I will come back and thicken it. With either you can thicken it either with a corn stop corn starch slurry, or you can thicken it with a um, flour slurry. Okay, so that's it. Turkey knuckle stew. You put it in your crock pot. You leave it in here. You put it on low for about six hours. You want to stir it halfway through the process so that. Everything is um, getting nice and tender. And then you come back and you taste it. See if it's too salt, salty. See if it needs some more salt. But 
I doubt if this is going to need some more salt because I really layered it a, not, a lot and I think I'm gonna probably going to have to tone it down and, <laughs> and put some water in it when it's all said and done so it don't be too salty for my, uh, my appetite. So that's it for today. This is today's Sunday dinner, turkey knuckle stew. Uh, you can be creative and add whatever you have. This is kind of like a, a dump dish today. I looked in the refrigerator, seen what I had, and made it my own creation, okay? So that's it for today. I look forward to seeing what you're going to be having today for Sunday dinner. Remember, my name is Trina Edwards, and I am the Restoration Coach. I am helping single moms to restore hope and to overcome adversity through culinary experiences. And if you want to find out how I might be able to support you specifically, then you can reach out to me at bit.ly forward slash Trina. Let us talk and schedule an appointment to find out how we can collaborate together. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.